Hello! Magandang araw na naman sa ating lahat. So for today, we are going to talk about speed, distance, and time. As usual, our explanations will be in English and in Filipino. And ang ating mga examples are real-life examples. Okay, let's go! Definition of terms. What is speed? Speed is defined as how fast something moves. It is the rate at which an object covers the distance. A fast-moving object has a high speed and covers a relatively large distance in a given amount of time, while a slow-moving object covers a relatively um, small amount of distance in the same amount of time. Okay, so madaling salita, yun daw mas mabilis ay mas malayo ang marahating. Pero mas mabagal, Siyempre, mas maikli yung mapupuntahan. Okay, next, what is distance? Distance is the degree or amount of separation between two points. Lines, surfaces, objects, definite places, or landmarks. Pag sinabi distance, ito yung uh, kung gaano kalayo. Yung dalawang lugar, dalawang points, or basta dalawang kung ano man yan. Okay? So, yan ang distance or it can be definite places of course next time what is time time is the duration of a certain process such as travel displacement or movement it can be expressed in days hours minutes seconds or kahit anong uh, measurement of time it can be years yes it can be weeks it can be months okay yan yung time natin okay, now we have our formulas. First, okay, let us first have the representations. Speed is S, distance is D, and time is T. When we compute for speed, this is, this is distance divided by time, or D over T. Madaling yan. Madaling i-memorize that is S is equal to D over T. What about our distance? So, distance is computed as we multiply speed times time. Or, D is equal to ST. D is equal to ST. What about our time? Time is equal to distance over speed. Or, this is D over S. So, remember our formulas here. Okay, huwag natin pagpapalit-palitin yan. Tandaan natin ang ating formulas. Okay, without further much ado, let's go sa ating sample problems. Number one. A car traveled from Manila to Vigan City in 8 hours. The distance between the two cities is 408 kilometers. Find the average speed of the car. So, kung daw kotse ito ng biyahe, muna Manila kung daw Vigan City sa Ilocos Sur, which is 408 kilometers, yung distansya ng dalawang cities na yan. Now, 8 hours ng biyahe. Okay. We are going to find for the average speed of the car. So first, we have the given. We have the distance which is 408 kilometers. And tumakbo siya sa loob ng walong oras, per 8 hours. Now, we are, look, we are looking for the speed. So what is the formula for the speed? We have S is equal to B over T. And when we substitute now our given, that is 408 over 8. Now, we divide 400 over, 408 over 8, that will become 51 kilometers per hour. Okay, kung mapapansin nyo, ito yung ating unit. Kilometers per hour. Ibig sabihin, sa bawat oras per hour, sa bawat oras, tatakbo siya ng 51 kilometers. Yan ang ibig sabihin niya. Okay? So, ang ating unit for speed is yun din. The unit for distance over the unit of time. So, for this one, ang ginamit ay hours at kilometers. Kaya magiging kilometers per hour. So, this car now has an average speed of 51 kilometers per hour. Nung nagbiyahe siya from Manila to Vigan City. Okay, next example. Let us have example number two. What is the speed of a boy? Who runs the 200 meter dash in 25 seconds. Medyo mabilis to. Okay? 
So, ito isang atleta na tumakbo, 200 meter dash, na tinapos niya ng 25 seconds. So, let us have the given. First, we have the distance, which is 200 meters. The time, 25 seconds, and we are looking for the speed. S is equal to D over T. Remember the formula? D over T. Okay? D over T. Next, we have now, so what is our D? That is 200. That is meters, 200 meters. 25, 25 seconds. We divide 200 divided by 25. That will be equal to 8. So 200 divided by 25, it's equal to 8. Ngayon, ano ang ating unit? Meters per second. Ibig sabihin, sa bawat isang segundo, 8 meters ang kanyang na-cover. So, that is, okay, 8 meters per second. Ano ba sa 8 meters per second. Next, let's have sample problem number 3. A cyclist rode his bike at an average speed of 20 kilometers per hour. What is the total distance did the cyclist ride if he biked for 3 hours? Okay, natin, let us analyze the problem. Nagbike daw ito, ang ating siklista nagbike na ang kanyang average speed ay 20 kilometers per hour. So, ito yung speed niya, 20 kilometers per hour. Okay, tignan ang speed. Ano pa isang given? 3 hours. So, 3 hours lang is our time. Ngayon ang tanong nito. What is the total distance? Okay? So, hinahanap now ay yung distance. What is the total distance did the cyclist ride if he biked for 3 hours? 20 kilometers per hour yung kanyang speed. Ang tanong, gaano kalayo yung kanyang inabot kung ang kanyang pagbibisikleta ay inabot ng tatlong oras. Okay, now, that's a big event. Speed is 20 kilometers per hour. Okay, 20 kilometers per hour. Ang time natin is 3 hours. So, we are going to compute for the distance. And distance is equal to speed times time. So, you just multiply the speed times time. Okay, that is now 20 times 3. So, therefore, our final answer will be, the distance will be 60 kilometers. 60 kilometers. Please let us always mind of our units given. So dahil dito ang binigay, dahil dito ang binigay na uh, speed ay 20 kilometers per hour. And remember, kilometers per hour. Therefore, ang ating unit na nagagamitin dito sa ating distance ay kilometers. Okay, next. Okay, let's have sample problem number four. Raya rode a train to her town in Laguna from Alabama. The travel time took 1.5 hours at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. What's the total distance traveled by the train? Okay, tanong daw. Itong si Raya, sumakay ng train pa uwi ng Laguna, galing ng Alabama. Kung kanyang travel time, nagbiyahe siya ng 1.5 hours o so isa't kalahating oras. Ngayon, ang speed niya, gano'ng kabilis, 40 kilometers per hour. Ibig sabihin niya, sa loob ng isang oras, 40 kilometers ang tinatakbo ng train. Ngayon ang tanong, yung distansya o gaano kalayo yung natravel ni Rhea through the train from Alabang papuntang Laguna. Okay, let's have the given. Speed, okay, we have 40 kilometers per hour. And the time is 1.5 hours. Ngayon ang tanong, ang ating distance. The distance is equal to speed times time. And we substitute speed at 40 kilometers per hour and the time at 1.5 hours. 40 times 1.5, that is equal to 60. So therefore, our distance is 60 kilometers. So from Alabang, going to her town in Laguna, is 60 kilometers. Okay. A bus travel at an average speed of 50 kilometers per hour going to Baguio from Manila. It covered a total distance of 250 kilometers. 
How many hours did the bus travel? Okay, analyze natin. Itong bus, ang kanyang speed ay 50 kilometers per hour. Biyahe siya from Baguio, I'm sorry, biyahe siya going to Baguio from Manila. And yung kanyang distance ay 250 kilometers. So, ang tanong is how many hours? So, it talks about hours. So, therefore, we are looking for the time. And now, speed is 50 kilometers per hour. Okay? Speed is 50 kilometers per hour. Our distance from Manila to Baguio is 250 kilometers. So, therefore, we are looking for the time. And time is equal to distance over speed. Distance over speed. The distance here is 250 kilometers over speed, which is 50 kilometers per hour. Okay, so that is 250 over 50 is equal to 5 hours. Okay, so our time is 5 hours. 250 divided by 50, that is 5 hours. So I think so good. Okay, let us have, let us have the last problem. As a routine during mornings, Lola Lola walks around the neighborhood for two miles per day. How many days will it take if she plans to walk a total distance of 10 miles? Okay. Ang speed niya, okay, two miles per day. So, bawat araw, nakalakad siya ng two miles na paikot lang naman doon sa neighborhood. So, kumbaga, parang yun nga, sabi niya, daily routine. Okay? During mornings ni Lola Lola. So, ang tanong natin, ilang araw daw, bago niya matapos, 10 miles. Okay? Ilang araw na maglalakad siya. During mornings. Okay? Para makakover siya ng 10 miles. The speed will be 2 miles per day. Okay? So, ito ay every morning lang ito. Hindi naman ito buong araw na naglalakad si Lola Lolin. Sabi niya, during mornings. So, that will be, ang ating speed ay 2 miles per day. Okay? Ang ating distance is 10 miles. Okay? Target distance niya, 10 miles. Ngayon ang tanong, yung ating time. Okay? Ano ang unit for time na gagamitin natin? Ngayon ang tanong, how many days? So, remember, ang ating unit time na gagamitin natin dito ay days. Okay, now, let's go. So, we are looking for the time. Again, we have the formula D over S. Our D, which is 10 miles, our speed is 2 miles per day. So, that will be 10 over 2. 10 divided by 2. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. And therefore, our time will be 5 days. Okay, now, Salamat sa pakikinig. Always remember, okay? Always remember our formulas. Ito ang mahalaga sa lahat. Ito yung formula natin. Okay? Yan ang formula, ha? Lagi natin tatandaan itong formula na to. If you can screenshot this, okay, sige, screenshot nila yan. Go ahead. And remember our formulas. Okay, we have our, our representations here and the formulas here on our right side. Okay, yun lang. Salamat sa pakikinig. Mag-iingat kayong lagi. Happy learning. God bless you all. Bye!